Words are tricky things. Many times we hear the words of another person and we totally misunderstand what they're saying. Dogs don't understand words, but they do understand the tone behind the words. If you tell your dog in a scolding tone, you're such a good puppy, they'll probably slink away with their tail between their legs. If you tell it in a loving tone, you are the ugliest, meanest dog on the planet, it'll probably wag its tail and lick your hand. That's why communication through texting and emails can be so misunderstood. A person receiving the message may interpret it in a way never intended by the sender. My poem illustrates the point. The largemouth bass was having fun just swimming down beneath the sun. It swam into a wall and bam! That bass just turned and yelled out, damn! The dam, which didn't have much class, just muttered, you are one dumb bass. Was the bass cursing at the dam, or simply observing that what it ran up against was a dam? Was the dam calling the bass a dumbass, or a dumb bass? The interpretation may not match the intent. The English language is pretty complex. Take the word bar, for example. It can mean a place where you drink beer, or an iron rod in a prison window. The word is spelled and pronounced the same, but its meaning is different in different settings. When our words, tone, and context all match, communication becomes much easier.